It's a spectacular place that's really kind of the best kept secret. As the owner for the past 17 years, Linda Kelly knows all about the secrets of the Triangle T Ranch. The biggest secret is about the guest ranch itself. It's not really all that well known. The Triangle T Ranch is nestled in the giant rocks of Texas Canyon, just off I-10 near Dragoon. More than 200 years ago, Chiricahua Apaches used the area as their winter camp. In 1874, Texan David Adams settled in the area and established a large cattle ranch. He gave Texas Canyon its name. In 1922, Meta Tut bought part of the Adams Ranch. Tut named it the Triangle T and began hosting guests seeking a respite from their busy lives. 100 years later, Linda Kelly says guests come to the Triangle T for the same reason. It just has a charm about it and a feel when you come here that, that people relax and enjoy and I think they, they feel better. Kelly says they welcome not only guests who want to hike, horseback ride or mountain bike through the amazing rock formations, but also individuals and groups on health and wellness retreats. It's just a place that when people come, they're like, wow. Others come to the Triangle T for its history, a history that includes Hollywood actors staying at the ranch and eating in the historic century-old dining room. Do you ever stop and think, well, John Wayne, Yes, I do. I tell people that. I say, you might be sitting in the seat John Wayne or Steve McQueen sat in because they all ate in here. So did the Japanese prisoners. Yes, Japanese prisoners at the Triangle T Ranch. After the December 7, 1941 attack on Pearl Harbor, where Japanese warplanes sank the USS Arizona, the Japanese Consul General and his staff were detained in Honolulu. By February of 1942, they were moved to the remote Triangle T Ranch. They were treated like they were guests. They went horseback riding, they played tennis, whatever they wanted. They just couldn't go through the fence that was around and that was guarded. Among the consulate staff was diplomat Tadashi Muramura. He was actually a Japanese spy. His real name, Takeo Yoshikawa. He supplied key intelligence about Pearl Harbor before the attack. In his memoir, he described his stay at the Triangle T. The air was fresh and the sun shone nicely, so it was the sort of place that was good for your health, wrote Yoshikawa. He was interrogated by the FBI, but they never discovered he was a spy. After four and a half months at the Triangle T, the Border Patrol guards escorted the group to Tucson for a train to New York City. They were then part of a large-scale prisoner exchange with Japan. Well, the ranch is also filled with history after World War II, as I found out on my tour. Linda, where are you taking me? Into the saloon. Into the saloon. And Obviously. It has a special name, doesn't it? It does. We had a contest when I first opened this after remodeling it, and uh, the rock saloon stuck. Obviously. Giant <laughs> boulder right in the middle. Yeah, I don't think there's too many saloons with that no, in the middle of the, very the unique. bar. Also unique, the giant mural on the saloon wall Linda purchased from the old Hidden Valley Inn near Sabino Canyon. It depicts many famous actors, including John Wayne, who filmed on the ranch. So did Glenn Ford, who starred in the original 310 to Yuma. You'll find one of the buildings used in the 1957 movie, which Hollywood repurposed. This was built by the military when the Japanese were brought here, and this is where the guards stayed. Now it's just another part of the memorable experience of visiting the Triangle T Ranch. Kelly hopes to preserve that history by getting the Triangle T listed on the National Register of Historic Places. You do want people to come and appreciate it and enjoy it and take whatever they take from it. Triangle T Ranch is amazing. It's beautiful. It's absolutely Arizona. And thank you so much for the time.